You know, folks, I've just laid out three pretty big agenda items, each and every one of which is doable, and each and every one of which we can accomplish with leadership from the top. Last year, earlier this year, Governor Corzine traveled to the state of New Jersey doing his town hall meetings, in which he tried to convince the public that we had to have an 800% toll pipe. And of course, we rose up in opposition. Maybe many of you here were with me at some of these meetings. Um, and, and that was to sell us on a big tax increase that would grow government even bigger. What I will do is I will do the same type of town hall meetings. But my town hall meeting is going to be how we're going to cut the size of government, what programs we're going to eliminate, how we're going to cut taxes for the people of the state of Jersey. We have never had a governor leading this state has, who has used the office of the governor, who has used the line item veto, appointment powers, and the microphone of the office to cut taxes and cut the size of the government. It's about time it happened, and as governor, that's exactly what I'm going to do in this state. You know, I, I can't tell you how encouraging is so many people that are here today, but can you imagine what we can do together, you and I, when we're out there in the months and the years to come, talking to our neighbors, getting on talk radio, talking to our friends, talking to businesses, promoting cutting taxes and taking back control for our towns and giving a better education to our children, we're on the side of what's right. And it's no coincidence that this race in New Jersey in the upcoming year is going to be the crossroads again of the American Revolution. There are only two statewide races in the country next year. New Jersey and, uh, and Virginia. Virginia is rather uh, mild. But like I said earlier, New Jersey was the crossroads of the revolution. And coming after the war, the, the Barack Obama's victory, and we've heard now over and over again that free markets don't work, we need more big government, we need more bailouts. I, I think it's only appropriate. I think it's only appropriate that the battle to reestablish our principles comes back here to New Jersey. All eyes in this country are going to be on this state. From Hawaii to Alaska to Nebraska to Texas, people will be watching what happens in New Jersey. Can we win on the very principles and on the very values on which this state was built? Can we establish the principles so hard fought for in the revolution? Can we make New Jersey from the worst state in the country to the best state for businesses? Can we return it to its leadership role for economic prosperity and for liberty? I say we absolutely can, and I say we will. Because the asset that we have, the most important asset that we have, is the people of this state. And the people of the state are looking for leadership, and they're looking for vision. And we can provide that vision. You know, if you look at the problems facing New Jersey that have brought us to our knees economically, it's not because there's been an earthquake like the hurricane like Katrina, or an earthquake like they had in China. We aren't being invaded by foreign foes. If you look at the history of the last 40 years of what's happened to New Jersey, we can identify the one single problem that has harmed our future. And that's the state government. And the policies of the state government. And that's something we can and will fix. Some people are saying to me, well, you know, John Corzine is going to have all this money. Well, I don't care how much money John Corzine has. Because what's he going to do with his money? Tell us people he's given us the highest taxes in the nation and that people will leave it? What a lousy job he's done? We're not going to have to outspend John Forsyth to win. We need enough money to get our message out. And by the way, I'm happy to announce that as of today, I have raised over $350,000 in only six weeks. Making this by far the top funded campaign in the state. And that's how we're going to get a message out. We don't have to outspend John Forsyth. We need to get our message out. And by the way, by the time I'm done making this guy spend his money to try to win again, he's going to have to move into one of those coal units. <laughs> well, I'm here today, you can hear now from, from Rick Shafton, my uh, political advisor for more than a decade. We've worked a long time to get to this point today. I was a mayor for 12 years, a businessman for 25 years. There's a lot of training and a lot of work and education before I felt I was ready to do this. Well, I am ready. My background in building my business and being a mayor and running Americans for Prosperity has prepared me for this battle. Um, it's taken many years to get here, and I'm happy to be here with you guys. 
Um, Rick's going to talk to you a little bit now about the strategy to win. Uh, we have a very, very well organized campaign. We are seeking to have a county co a town coordinator in every town, at least one person, who will be in charge of the grassroots activity in that town. We're launching a terrific petition drive uh, and most of all, raising money. If anybody would like to donate to the campaign, please apply again to the governor. You'll, you'll be on my first U.S. report. We have over 3,000 donors as of today. So that tells you something, right? That's my story. Um, that's my plan. We are going to win. We are going to turn New Jersey around. And with your help, we're going to be victorious. And we're going to deliver up and down the ballot from right down Gloucester County to your local townships. Again, thank you for being here today. And I'd like to introduce Rick Schaaf.